this service. I always like to start off talking to the kids. Um, boys and girls, it's good to see you all this morning. Now, you probably know, many of you probably know uh, Miss Tessa or Mrs. Newberg. She's my wife, and uh, she's sitting over there. I, we have a deal that I'm supposed to tell her before I mention her in a sermon, but not a children's message. That's not part of the deal, as far as I can recall. We'll talk about it after the service. So, Miss Tessa, we're, we're married, and she's my wife, but she also, also, I'll tell you this, Miss um, Tessa is also my very best friend. She is. Now, we got married partly, I think, because we liked each other, and, uh, and, and partly because we both wanted to have a family. But after we got married, one of the best discoveries that we made was that we liked a lot of the same things. And we like to do a lot of the same things. And that, boys and girls, in case you don't know this, you'll find this out as you get older, that is one of the best ways to become friends. Yes, to find somebody who likes the same sorts of things as you do. And we haven't stopped discovering that about one another. In fact, yesterday, we discovered a new thing that we like to do together. I never even suspected this of myself, but I had a blast making chrismons. Yeah. See, this is what a chrismon is. Yes, I know what you're thinking. It's made out of beads. And, um, and, and uh, but look, I, wear, I run a motorcycle, okay? So I'm still cool, <laughs> even though I spent Saturday, most of the day, making this thing, <laughs> along with, a, you know, a lot of other, well, mostly ladies, but it was a great time. Tessa and I had a great time together. Miss Martha showed us how to make them. And, and what we found as we did these things is we just, you know, I'll show you some of the ones the rest of the family made. We, we had a good time together. And we got to be friends, not only with each other, but some of the other people who are here. Here's the one that Tessa made. This is a, a lamb. Yeah. You all know what a chrismon is? We've got a bunch of them on the tree. In case you don't know, it's, it's a Christmas ornament, right? And Christmas ornaments are special, aren't they? If you've been putting some on your tree, you probably know what I mean. Most Christmas ornaments stand for something. They'll stand for maybe a person that you love or maybe a thing that you all did together. Is that true in your house? It is in ours. Well, chrismons are the same way, except they don't just stand for someone or something that you love. Chrismons stand for the one who loves us and who we love most of all. Every one of them reminds us in, of Jesus in a different way. And so you'll see all of them on that tree right there, and every single one of them is a way of, of, of uh, celebrating and remembering Jesus. Christmas is full of things in people that we love, isn't it? Yeah, there's gifts, and there's lights, and there's decorations, and then there's family, and there's friends, and there's parties with food. And what makes all these things so good is that they're all ways for us to love yeah, God is love, and God is good. And that's the point of Christmas and really of all of life. And it's the reason Christmas is so good. And, and it's the reason we get to be so good at Christmas. Some reason, it's easier to make friends at Christmas time. Why do you think that is? The Bible tells us the answer. It points us to the one who's behind all the gifts, behind all the people, and behind all the love. It's Jesus. Christmas is about Jesus coming close to us, just like Sunday morning is about Jesus coming close to us. He's the one who made everything from chrismons to supper time to Christmas morning under the Christmas tree. These are all gifts that he gave us, ways for us to be friends with one another and to share God's perfect love. Not just our love, but his love. And that's actually what I'm going to talk with the, your parents and the other grown-ups about. But let's pray. Boys and girls, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your love. That is your Holy Spirit, which you've placed in our hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord. By forgiving us all of our sins and by calling us your own in baptism and feeding us with your word and with Jesus himself. Always refashion us in love for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen.